You know, folks, I spend so much time dealing with the elephants in the newsroom that sometimes I forget to notice the smaller but equally compelling news baboons shrieking and hurling their feces. <laughs> sometimes I like to display them in my news habitat of a segment. Meanwhile. <laughs> meanwhile. People like meanwhile. the meanwhile. People miss it. When it's not here, they miss it. Meanwhile, an Oregon man who was stranded in a snowbound SUV for five days told rescuers he survived on Taco Bell sauce packets <laughs> while trapped in the storm. That is amazing. This man survived despite eating Taco Bell. <laughs> the fella, this guy, Jeremy Taylor, the hero of our story, is an off-roading fan who drove up a forest service road last week with his dog, Allie, seen here having no idea <laughs> it's about to get real. <laughs> Five days later, after being found by a passing snowmobiler, Jeremy took to Facebook joking, Taco Bell fire sauce saves lives, <laughs> while Allie took to Facebook saying, looking for new owner must have cell phone, please no dum dum. Meanwhile, <laughs> archaeologists have uncovered an elixir of immortality in a 2,000-year-old Chinese tomb. Though, I do have suspicions this elixir of immortality may not work. First hint, they found it in a tomb. <laughs> Researchers found an ancient bronze pot filled with a yellowish liquid exhibiting a very strong alcohol-like smell. I remember making a similar archaeological discovery in a milk jug under my college roommate's bed. <laughs> now, at first, first, the scientists believed the liquid was wine, but found that it was, in fact, a different substance after further lab work, also known as making the intern chug it. <laughs> of course, this so-called elixir of immortality is nothing more than a combination of ancient chemicals with no real-life extending properties. So these archaeologists should do the logical thing and send it to me. <laughs> Bring me the elixir so that I may shed this accursed chain of mortal life and rule eternal over the arid landscape on a throne of skulls. <laughs> Bringing you jokes about the latest Trump goof em ups for untold aeons to come. <laughs> Give me the elixir. Meanwhile, <laughs> reports broke out overnight that after months of waiting, an anonymous Mega Millions lottery winner has claimed the $1.5 billion jackpot in South Carolina. First of all, why is someone winning the lottery always reported as news? It's not a story. Someone will win. <laughs> Just go with the standard headline, breaking news, still not you. <laughs> Here's what's crazy. On the day they bought their winning ticket, the winner allowed someone to cut in front of him or her in line at the store to buy the same kind of ticket before the winner bought their own. Okay, okay, nice story, but I think karma needs to recalibrate the dials a little bit. <laughs> Letting someone in front of you at the corner store should be good for, like, a free Slim Jim. <laughs> Meanwhile... A statue depicting Abraham Lincoln as a young man just went viral. Here it is. Damn! <laughs> I'm not sure what he's liberating, but keep it in your pants, Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> and who does he think he's fooling with those books? Oh, hey, Mr. and Mrs. D, just here to study with Becky. Get out, you punk. <laughs> Put on a shirt. This statue has been in the Los Angeles State Courthouse since 1941 and is titled Young Lincoln. But after going viral, people started renaming it Babraham Lincoln, <laughs> the Gettysburg Andres, and Honest Abs. <laughs> Good names, but judges would also have accepted the great Emanscaper and, of course, the Rail Splitter. <laughs> we'll be right